all right back to another video we're doing uh video boosts and video boosts on and off so i did the nighttime one you can go ahead and check that out so this is daytime so personally i'm expecting video boost to actually just really boost the colors because what i've seen from some of my other video clips that i've done with video boost it seems to only really like Let's point this at the sun real quick. It really only seems to um, boost the colors and fix the stability a little bit. So that's pretty much the difference that you're going to get in daytime. Because, I mean, if I'm honest, the pixel video quality daytime is pretty solid. Like you can use this. Well, not just, not just say just daytime. Let's just say and uh, good lighting just in general and good lighting the pixel handles video very well and that's any phone any camera or anything like that in the world really because lighting is the key if you got good lighting you get good video footage and that's no different with the pixel so but at nighttime is the problem so at night i did the video boost and it was really really night and day difference so if you haven't seen that video, you definitely need to go check that video out ASAP because it is a night and day difference when it comes to the video boost quality and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely check that out. So let's hold up an object here and see what that looking like. There we go. It's my really messed up <laughs> case of my buds. But so we're just going to get some more stuff and I'm going to let video boost actually uh, get that stay focused now. All right. So I'm going to let video boost, you know, do his thing. All right, so with that being said, the video boost is really good. You only can use it in 30 frames per second. That's about it, 30 frames per second, and you gotta shoot in 4K. Actually, you could pick 1080p, but who's shooting 1080p? So 4K, and you cannot change, you cannot turn off the stabilization. Unfortunately, because I don't like using the stabilization on pixels because Google need to fix it, because it, introduces jitter especially at night so with it off i just use my gimbal and i get much better footage using my gimbal and stabilization off but i can't do that with video boost but video boost does such a good job that it actually gets rid of the jitter so that is a, a big plus right there that it does that so just want y'all to see the difference. So hopefully Google will fix that jitter stuff in the future. I'm really hoping they would. Also, I want to say that these videos take a very long, 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 long time to process. So I know like the world's about to complain about it. Like they complain about everything. But there's two things about that. You don't have to use it. And if you feel like you need access to your video that you just shot like right away then you have access to the original file instantly and with that original file you can edit it's like they're using an ai service to pretty much edit it so if you already have the skill to edit your video then video boost isn't really for you but for the ones who you know don't know how to edit then video boost may be perfect for you and you might be one of those people who could really take advantage of it but if you are those type of people then you're going to have to wait so you're gonna put it in and then you're gonna have to just wait for it to finish and that's what it is so it's either or like I say, it's not really for everybody, really for like the people who need it. 
but it does great. It does really great at editing the video. Google processing is magic. Like I, I tell you, man, it took away the jitters at the night one, and it also raised the shadows up and kept clarity, sharpness. It just did so much. But again, like I say, if you are a video editor, then you would be good with that. Let's look at the Pixel Watch. It's my watch right here. Do I got always on display? I think I do. I do have always on display. I think I have it turned down. So I need to probably like <laughs> turn that uh, daytime mode boost on it up or whatever. But I don't really care because I don't use my watches that much. It's just for tracking. I don't even, somebody say, what time is it? I be looking at my phone still. So yeah, I'm that type of person. I just kind of like when I see my information and notifications then get wakes up. So um, pretty much my batteries on my watches last pretty much two days, mostly for most watches, even my Apple watch, not the ultra, just my regular Apple watch. I still got the five and that still lasts two days. And my Pixel watch first gen last two days and my Pixel watch gen two last two days as well. Um, slightly better, obviously on the Pixel watch two. I think the Pixel watch one will kill off midday on the second day while the other one will go you know to the duration of the next day like going into the third day basically i'll say going into the third day but the pixel watch will actually be like somewhere between like 48 hours somewhere between i'll say 35 to 48 hours some days or whatever like that but this ain't about that this is about that video boost so just showing y'all y'all look around and y'all see how this quality looks. I'm trying to get the sky as well. So, yeah. And all of that stuff. And, yeah. Y'all let me know if there's a big difference in the daytime part of this video. Because daytime shots are normally just good. Like I say, I don't think there's going to be a huge difference in the daytime videos. It's mostly going to be the nighttime videos that's going to have the huge impact. So personally, I would use this video boost for every last single night shot, like every single last night shot. Daytime, not so because the pixel video quality is already pretty good during the daytime. So nighttime would be the one that I would definitely use it for. So other than that. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Delvon Digital, out.